guest blew me away when I watched his videos. I had to bring him on the show. When you think of cello, you probably think of traditional classical music. Well, Okori OK Cello Johnson is not like any cello player we've ever heard before. He is, in fact, flipping the script. Arts ATL says that the scope and scale of his music, they say it's cinematic. Take a look. I started playing the cello at six, completely by chance. The organization that I wanted to play an instrument with only had space in the cello class. I made a deal with my mom that I would play the cello through high school, and I did. And then after that, I thought I would put it down and never pick it up again. But the cello has been kind of like a persistent, stubborn friend in my life. I was an English teacher, I was an administrator, I was a filmmaker. On my 40th birthday, I was at a pretty serious professional crossroads, and I didn't know what I was gonna do next. I sat down on my instrument, and all of a sudden, this song came out of me that pretty much changed my life. I had a looper, and a looper allowed me to capture my ideas and then to compose on top of it. I was at a place in my life where I really needed the music to do something for me. That song gave birth to five songs. Those five songs became a concert. That concert became a concert series. And at the end of that year, I guess I started to become OK Cello. I think the work that I create is also the intersection of two different borders. It is on an old European cello, but I also play contemporary African diaspora music. It is uh, ancient technology, and I'm using modern technology to create this experience that you couldn't have gotten at any other time in history. Yeah, I really feel like I'm in the middle of everything with the work that I do. Wow, please welcome to the show, Okori OK Cello Johnson. story is so beautiful. I know you mentioned in the piece you were at a crossroads. Yeah. But this journey with the cello, you were around six years old. Six years and old. And you say that the cello chose you. Yeah. Uh, there was an organization that taught you to play any instrument in the orchestra. But the only instrument that had space was the cello. Oh. And I said, sure, let's go ahead and do it. And you were a part of this DC Youth Orchestra program, and your parents had been a part of this yeah. as well. So it's my, like a legacy. Legacy. My dad played trumpet with the orchestra. My mom Look at played. you. Yeah, I know, right. She's going to be mad at me for using that picture because she say, says I look like a bad little child. Yeah, I was <laughs> as the mother of a four-year-old, I'm like, no wonder they had to put him in some kind of program. Uh, I was just being ex expressive, You right? were being expressive, yes. and you found your voice with a cello. Oh, I did. Your journey includes, of course, attending Morehouse College. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Someone else with Atlanta ties is really shaking up music. Andre 3000 just yeah. came out with his project. He's not rapping. He's playing this flute. His album is New Blue Sun. Mm -hmm. And so many people were surprised to see one of the greatest rappers in history. Top 10 take for, oh, this, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Take this instrument and play it so beautifully. I feel like we're on some kind of movement now, yeah. especially when you look at expectations, yeah, right? What yeah. people expect a classical musician to mm -hmm, sound like mm -hmm, or to look like. Mm -hmm. And you're a part of this. I am. I think what I love I about- I love that you said I am. I, I am, I'm that. absolutely a part of it. I've been a part of it for a while. I love that. Um, what I love about instrumental music and what I love about what Andre is doing yeah. is that he is, instead of kind of just bringing us out, he's inviting us inward, Yeah. right? What instrumental music gives you the opportunity to do is to kind of make the world that you're listening to and in some ways, remake yourself in that world. I love that. That is so beautifully put. Yeah. You, ha you were on the campus of, at Morehouse, and you heard someone playing Stone Temple Pilot. <laughs> My best friend, uh, Julian That's not a Zillary. song I expect at no, Morehouse. No, it's not. No, we, Stone Temple Pilots, <laughs> yeah. the song was plush, and I just kind of hung out outside of his door, and that was kind of weird because he walked out and he's like, why are you hanging outside my door? <laughs> um, but he saw my cello and he said, why don't you just come on in and play? Come on and play. Yeah, and, then... and I did. As a result of that, uh, I had a part to that song. Maybe an hour later, I had uh, parts to his songs, and then we had our first gig a week later, um, and then we were a band two weeks later, and then from that point, um, actually, I ended, we ended up playing in front of a, a show where we saw India. 
Oh. India RE, and then India was like, oh my God. I'm, you're just on name, first name basis. <laughs> well, no, no. I mean, you're like, I saw India and I'm like, the country? Like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you India, saw the great India we were, RE. We were kids yes. together. We were, yeah. we were kind of, we kind of hung out together. She walked around Atlanta with a guitar in her so back really and I would play with her. So you with the cool kids. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you've created this process. Yeah. Um, and you're going to walk us through. Absolutely. How this has really, as I said, you will remember this moment because he has done something no one else has ever done with the cello. Yeah. You're yeah. a pioneer. I'm trying to. You trying look to young Caroline. for a pioneer. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right. You flip the script on classical music. I'm going to step out of yeah. the way. You're going to show us how it's done. Absolutely. And we're going to enjoy. Give it up. All right, so um, essentially I have a little looper at my foot and allows me to play live, to record myself playing live, and then to play with that like a duet, and then do it on and on and on again until it sounds like there's an entire ensemble of cellos on stage. So I'm gonna do that for you right now in the song Boom 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 Bap. next to me say you can just take my money now because I'm buying whatever you sell. <laughs> you were wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.